Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video I will show you how to connect Supabase to your project in Nova so you can display data in your app. If you do not have a Supabase account yet, go on supabase.com and create one, and follow the steps to create a project and add data to your database. Make sure to disable the RLS of your tables in order to be able to display the data in Nova. Now go back on Nova and click on the data button at the bottom of the screen and select Supabase. We need now to fill these fields with the API and the key. Go back on Supabase, go to the settings and select API. From here copy and paste the API and the key in their field and click connect. As you can see, the tables are now displayed in Nova. Now I can go in my app and turn this card that I created into a component that will display my data. I now add variables to the text widgets. I copy and paste the container inside the screen and put it in a column. I add the Data Builder wrapper to this column. From the Data Builder widget, I select Supabase as a source and the table I created with the books. I now connect the children property to the corresponding data variable from the Data Builder. I can now adjust the settings of the column if I need to. From the outline, I select the container that is inside the column and connect its variable to the elements of the data that I want to display. Now the data is displayed in my app and I can keep modifying the main component and keep working on my design. Thank you for watching this video, I will see you in the next tutorial.